Welcome back to Cottage Designs by Erin, where today we're going to make a simple embroidery project by Bird Brain Designs. And here is the one we are going to be making. It says, if the shoes fit, wear them. Super cute. And this pattern is from 2017, but you can still buy it for $4 on eBay. And it's by Bird Brain Designs. Other patterns that come in this include all of these shown on the front. It says, uh, if the broom fits, fly it. If the shoes fit, wear them. And it's all about the hats and the shoes. Super, super cute, all fall witch designs. You're not going to need a lot to make this pattern. You're going to need a nine by nine inch square piece of light colored fabric. I'm using muslin. You're going to need an embroidery hoop, embroidery needles, and black embroidery floss. Now I bought this whole box of floss on eBay for $12. So let me open that up because I use a lot of black in my quilt to applique. Yes, so there's 12 skeins in here, or skeins, however you say it. And um, so they're a dollar each if you buy them by the box on eBay. You're going to need three strands of black floss. So I'm going to move the camera to my hands now. So I have already traced out the design. There are some very long directions in here about how to run this on a copier with some kind of something that makes it easier to print. It's unnecessary, okay? All you have to do, I took a, a, a Walmart number two lead pencil, mechanical pencil, and I traced the design, and then we're going to go over the design. I like these spring action embroidery hoops because the cork keeps it from slipping. I think I'll start on the letters. So you cut a nine by nine inch piece of fabric. And if you notice, I folded it in fourths and then pressed it so that then I could find the center and then I traced the design. You can also put a piece of batting behind this if you prefer. We are going to take the floss, cut an elbow's length, and divide the six strands into three strands. Then I'm going to take one of these kind of cross stitch needles and thread up. Now, I guess you don't have to use kind of cross stitch needles. I guess you could use a regular needle. But the reason it's nice to use embroidery needles is because they have a longer eye so that you can try to get all the thread through at once. Mm, I'm having a hard time getting this through here. Okay, then you're going to need some little, I like these uh, Friskers little embroidery scissors to help snip. So I'm going to start on the lettering. Get my readers on here. It's not going to work if I don't have my contacts. Radio, so we'll just go without the readers. Okay, we're going to start from the back. And this looks like it'd be one nice big stitch. So I'm going to tie a little knot in the back of the thread so that it does not come, so the thread does not come loose out of the muslin. 
And since it's not a very long stitch, I'm just going to make that the first stitch. Next, I'm going to back stitch the eye. And if you want to, I suppose you could stem stitch the letters. I just always back stitch because I find it easier. I like hand work because it's very relaxing. I decided to start picking it up again because it's supposed to lower your blood pressure. And I could definitely use that action in my life. Okay, so here's the first letter finished. I'm now going to go over to the F. Since the F is in close proximity, I think it's okay to carry my thread. <coughs> That is something that you have to be concerned about because if the letter is too far away, you don't want to carry the thread because you don't want to show through the front. Seems like a fairly fast project. Okay, so here's our first word, complete. Now, after you do all the embroidery, of course you'll trim, trim as you go on the back so you have nice neat work. After you do all the embroidery, how they got this finished look, show on the big side, is they sewed on one inch strips to make this little, um, you can make it like a pillow. You could stuff it and make a pillow or you could just put batting in it and make like a little um, tiny miniature quilt. So the choice is yours. But it's a very simple project, easy to complete in a weekend and cute to hang up this time of year. This would make a nice gift for anyone who works in an office, possibly a teacher, but you know, make sure they know you're joking and, and don't think that they're really a witch or that may not be good. So again, the pattern is by Bird Brain Designs. It can be purchased on eBay. Let me see if there's any full size pictures. This is what the, the, the print looks like that you trace. There are no more pictures in here. So then let me just show you the front of this so you can see all the projects. I like the, the pillow with the hats and shoes. That's adorable. So it's just something fun and relaxing to make that's not going to cost a lot of money. You probably already have, if you embroider at all, you probably already have a hoop, embroidery scissors, needles, and black floss. And then all you would need is a piece of fabric. So I hope you learned something from my video today. Please stop back by for more projects in the future. Like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate your help. Have a good day.